Hello and welcome to 3 Doro TV. I am Vishakha Thakur and you are watching The Coin Monitor. Virtual digital assets or VDA markets look to muster support from the rally in technology stocks. They often form a positive correlation, but the likelihood of Federal Reserve keeping interest rates higher for longer is causing jitters among investors. BTC, the largest crypto, hovered around the $62,500 mark. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading down by 3.2% at 78,600 points. Well, in an interesting piece of news, the latest data of the spot Bitcoin ETFs is suggesting a different story. Throughout the week ending on April 26, 2024, Bitcoin spot ETFs in the US experienced notable fluctuations in net flows. Moreover, these ETFs registered a massive weekly net outflow of $328 million as institutional investors cut down on their BTC positions a bit to avoid a potential post-halving crash. Well, although the strong earnings performance of technology stocks ramped up hopes of perky demand for AI-based technology, this will keep supporting tech earnings in the coming quarter. The immediate term market focus remains on the Fed meeting later this week and jobs data. Well, analysts see the elusive US interest rate and sticky inflation as a perfect combination to propel investors buying gold and Bitcoin. Furthermore, spot Bitcoin ETFs are getting ready to make their main board debut on the Australian Securities Exchange, the country's biggest exchange. Well, this change is being driven in part by Australia's pension market. Also, the $2.3 trillion market may be a factor in the ETF industry's expansion. Interestingly, asset management firm Franklin Templeton has listed its spot ETH exchange traded fund, the Franklin Ethereum TR Ethereum ETF, on the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation website, a significant platform for securities transactions in the United States. The DTCC website's Create or Redeem column lists the ETF, indicating its availability for creation and redemption. The global crypto market cap was at $2.31 trillion mark decreasing 3% in the last 24 hours. The total trading volume increased by 9% to $57 billion. Moving on, gas fees on the Ethereum network has plunged to a six-month low even as the price of Ether rallied slightly over the weekend. On April 27, the average fee for an Ethereum translation fell as low as $1.12 according to data from Sentiment. The analytics platform suggested the low gas fees could indicate a future uptick in Ethereum network activity and herald the beginning of an altcoin rally. Separately, the United States Department of Justice has opposed a motion to dismiss conspiracy and money laundering charges against Tornado Cash co-founder Roman Storm arguing that filing grace disputed facts for judy consideration which is unsuited for early stage motions. Meanwhile, the market hopes to get a reload from the US Treasury's refinancing announcement detailing the three-month borrowing needs and the balance to be held in the Treasury General Account due on May 1. Maintenance or a decline in Treasury General Account could trigger a rally in risky assets. US stock futures traded higher as traders focus on corporate earnings, key labor data and a Federal Reserve meeting. Futures tied to the index rose by a 0.27%. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures increased 0.28%, while Nasdaq 100 futures advanced 0.38%. Talking about Bitcoin, it was trading at $62,350, down by 2.3%. Next on the list, Ethereum, which is the second largest crypto, was down by 4.2%, trading at $3,180. Talking about Binance's BNB token, it was down by 2.5% to trade at $586. Next on the list, we have Solana Sol token, it was down 6.3% and was trading at $134. While Cardano's ADA token was down by 5.3% to trade at $0.44. Also, Avalanche's AVAX was trading at $33, lower by 6%. Next on the list, Polygon's Matic token was trading down by 5.1% to trade at $0.70. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading down by 6.2% at $0.14. Shiba Inu was trading down by 6.5%. Next on the list, Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.5, down by 4.2%. Last but not the least, Polkadot was down by 5.7% to trade at $6.5. 
So that's all in the Coin Monitor. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website www.3worldstv.io or scan the QR code. With three auto TV, stay connected with the world of blockchain. Stay up to date with infinite world of NFTs. Come explore and evolve with three auto TV in the metaverse. So many coins, so much volatility. Three auto TV delivers the news that matters. OpenAI, an artificial intelligence company co-founded and held by Sam Altman, is reportedly in partnership talks with Tools for Humanity's WorldCoin, a cryptocurrency-based universal basic income and identity verification firm also co-founded by Sam Altman. But Bloomberg recently reported that the two firms are in negotiations for a partnership that would see OpenAI providing AI solutions and services to WorldCoin with the possibility for further synergy down the road. Any partnership between OpenAI and WorldCoin would almost certainly draw additional regulatory scrutiny given Altman's status within both firms. LSE Consulting, a firm anchored within the London School of Economics and Political Science, recently released a report detailing a potential path towards European dominance in the emerging Web 4.0 sector. According to the team, the formation of an Airbus-style industrial conglomerate dedicated to fostering innovation and growth in the metaverse is the EU's best bet to compete with the US, China and other global sector leaders and potentially exploit Europe's current technological and economic potential. Well, Airbus is a multinational conglomerate that was formed when a trio of French, German and Spanish aerospace companies merged in 2000. So since 2019, it's been the world's leading manufacturer of both airlines and helicopters. Its relevancy to the metaverse market, according to LSE Consulting, is in its cross-border incorporation and company focus on ensuring Europe remains the dominant player in international aerospace market. The United States Department of Justice has opposed a motion to dismiss conspiracy and money laundering charges against Tornado Cash co-founder Roman Storm, arguing that filing race disputed facts for jury consideration, which is unsuited for early stage motions. So in the DOJ's response, the prosecutors analyzed why the Tornado Cash co-founder should answer for the alleged crimes levied against him. The DOJ contested the defense's categorization of Tornado Cash, noting it was introduced in 2019 as a crypto mixer. So the service comprises a website, a user interface, a set of smart contracts and a network of relayers. The DOJ accused Roman Storm and fellow developer Roman Semenov of conspiring to commit money laundering, operating an unlicensed money transmitter and violating sanctions by creating Tornado Cash, a crypto mixing service. US authorities claim that entities like North Korea's Lazarus Group used Tornado Cash to launder funds.